Brinjal is a much loved vegetable by the Telugu people. And today's recipe is a Telangana Brinjal recipe which is not only lip smacking but also easy to prepare. So let's begin cooking. To a preheated pan add 3 tablespoons of peanuts and dry roast on low flame and transfer to a plate to cool down. And to the same pan add 3 tablespoons of sesame or til and continue dry roasting. To this add 1 tablespoon of poppy seeds or cuscus and 2 tablespoons of desiccated coconut. You can use dry copra too. Dry roast on low flame until they turn light golden in color and add to the plate. Now here I have whole spices which will go in next. 1 tablespoon of coriander seeds, 1 stick of cinnamon, 6 cloves, 4 cardamoms, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds and a quarter spoon of fenugreek seeds. Continue to dry roast until aromatic and, and remove to the plate. And allow to cool down to room temperature. Now add 1 teaspoon of oil to the kadai and add 1 big roughly sliced onion and saute until it turns lightly golden brown in color. Take care not to over brown the onions guys. Now remove the fried onions to a clean plate and allow to cool down. Meanwhile, let's proceed to the next step. Wash a big lemon sized tamarind to remove impurities and dirt. Drain and add some fresh water to soak it. And then extract the tamarind juice and keep aside for later use. Now here I have half a kilo of tender brinjals. We use only tender baby brinjals for this dish which are small or medium in size. Now to a large bowl of water add some salt and dissolve it. Doing this prevents the brinjals from turning brown and bitter. Now take one brinjal and make cut 3 fourth way through it and check for worms and drop it in the salt water. Cut the remaining brinjals too likewise. And now let's move on to the next process. Now into a blender jar, toss in all the roasted spices, the fried onions, some salt to taste, quarter spoon of turmeric powder and one teaspoon of red chili powder and a little water and blend into a thick paste. Do not use a lot of water as the paste will turn runny. Now divide the paste into two portions. So here we have divided into two portions. Now squeeze out the water from brinjal and stuff it with the paste that we have prepared. So basically you need to stuff each brinjal carefully with the paste. Do likewise for the remaining ones too. You could use some helping hands here for the stuffing job. As it is a bit time consuming job. But really worth the effort guys. As the end result will blow you off your feet. So test your patience. Here, finally we have the stuffed brinjals or vankailu. Now let's move ahead with the cooking process. To a deep kadai, I am taking 6 tablespoons of oil, adding 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds and, and half a teaspoon of cumin and 1 bay leaf and add 1 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste to this and saute until the rawness is lost. Now 
and once it's done gently add each brinjal to it remember to reduce the heat at this point to avoid splattering of oil all over two sprigs of fresh curry leaves now close the lid and cook 10 minutes on low heat the brinjals have turned tender and soft and now add the remaining paste half a teaspoon of turmeric powder one and a half teaspoon of red chili powder quarter spoon of cumin or jeera powder one teaspoon of coriander or dhania powder salt is needed and half a spoon of garam masala and add some lukewarm water here and mix everything evenly drop in two to three green chilies and add the extracted tamarind juice and give it all a good stir and cook until oil is released mm lovely you can notice oil separating guys so switch it off at this point and garnish with fresh coriander leaves that's all gutti vankaya or bharwa bangan is ready to eat hope you enjoyed watching